<clears throat> shalom, shalom. Hey, first and foremost, we're gonna give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Rakar Kadash, a double honor to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, 144,000 and the one third men, women, and children in that order. This is Shemar Allah. And we're with the great spawn, great stuff. Slocky, great millstone chapter out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and uh, you know another quick hit after a, um, a good workout, um, working the spirit and the body, um, as we say, uh, through the spirit. You know, we wanted to just touch on, you know, in in this time that we are in, you know, dealing with fear and uh, you know having the faith to trust in the Lord during these tough times is very very important. That uh, we we don't we don't um, lose it, you know, lose our marbles, so to speak, you know, keeping a sound mind, you know. Scripture do say with uh, what roughly paraphrasing, uh, knowledge and wisdom should be the stability of our time. So we have to be wise in, in knowing that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is uh, with us at all times. Um, Start with Deuteronomy 31 and 6, and it reads, Be strong and of good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord Yahweh, thy power, he he that he is, it's lucky, he is, he it is that doeth go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. No, he will not. You know, in, in these times that are coming up, you know they they they're pushing that jab mandatorily, making trying to make it or making it mandatory. You know they're gonna press more and more as we get closer to the summer. You know, and then hey, those winter months are gonna be heavy. You know, scriptures say pray not uh, pray that your fight is not during the uh, the winter. Okay. Roughly paraphrasing. You know, and so we have to keep that in mind as we continue to move on. As time go on about our enemy and what they plan on doing, but we have to keep our courage. We gotta keep our faith in Yahweh by Shimei Abishai that He will deliver us through any situation it may be. You know, this is not the time for brothers to be uh, falling out and you know getting weak. It's time to be strong, man, and being strong in Yahweh by Shimei Abishai. You know. Praying for spiritual increase, for strength, for courage, and all those things. A scripture out. Okay, I got a preset. Uh, this is the book of Psalm, chapter 27. Uh, I'm going to start at verse 1. The Lord Yahweh is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord Yahweh is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? So, um, Jake, you know... Um, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, the scriptures is telling us like uh, when when you are afraid or knowing that um, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is your light and your salvation and he's the strength of your life. He's literally the reason you get up in the morning. Um, he's the reason why you, you make it home safely from your comings and your goings. You, the reason you rise up and the reason you sit down. The reason you eat. You know what I'm saying? Jake should constantly be praying to Yahweh Shai. Knowing that Yahweh Shai that Yahweh Shai, yeah. Shai is the reason for those things. Mm -hmm. um, King David went into this psalm. You know, in Psalm uh, the 27th chapter. Uh, I'm going to continue on. When the wicked, even mine foes, and it's like even mine enemies and my foes came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. So when when Esau come at us with this with this jab, you know, uh, you want to put your trust in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You can't fold, man. Like you're gonna have to have faith. Like Hebrews the eleventh chapter says, uh, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. When you go into that word substance, it literally means like um, foundation. So having faith in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is your 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 foundation. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm and that is and that is a solid foundation, man. A lot of these people don't believe in Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh Shai, uh -huh. and that's the reason why they they bug out. That's the reason why they fall they fall out. That's the reason why they they don't even they don't even consider the power of the Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh Shai. You know, they they lean into their own understanding. They lean into the the powers of of, of this so called world. I mean, they, they, they this they lean into the into the the uh, the strength of this of this world. Slokia. 
which has no strength. God. I'm going to finish this off. Uh, verse tw Psalm 27 and 3. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. Because, you know, in these last days, all hell is getting ready to break loose, you know. And we're going to have to be confident that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai will protect us. That is that is your faith, you know, like you said uh, in Isaiah, the 33rd chapter, verse six, wisdom and knowledge will be the stability of thy times. Mm -hmm. That is what will keep you stable. Mm -hmm. It's what's going to keep you level headed in mm -hmm. these rough times. Knowing that the Lord is with you and he fights for you God. and he won't forsake you. God. Go ahead. Yeah, I got another precept here. Go ahead. This is the book of Second Timothy, chapter one and verse seven. For the Most High hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound and of a sound mind. That sounds beautiful, man. Mm -hmm. Just to know that the scriptures tell us, don't be afraid. Uh, be strong and of good courage. As you said, I believe it was Deuteronomy the 23rd chapter, or is it Deuteronomy 31? 30, 31. Yeah, sloppy. But um, Lord say he didn't give us the spirit of fear. You're not supposed to be walking around here scared, man. You know? If anything, you fear Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and Him only, um, and the fear of the Lord. What does it say? And uh, it's the beginning of wisdom, you know. Mm -hmm. So the Lord didn't give us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. That that's strength right there. That's the strength of your life is mm -hmm. to have power, love, and a sound mind because you you know you know the the natural order of things, and you know that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai controls all things. Yeah, hey man, that's that that's that's Yapa, man. To know those things because these people out here, man, they don't have a clue what's going on. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That their minds being thrown to and fro. These demons are plaguing them, man. People are are turning to drugs, alcohol, uh, other vices just to just to, to get them demons away from them. And they're actually added on more demons. So when they come to, they're even worse off than they begin when they before they begin to try to uh Self-medicate through the drugs and the alcohol and things of that nature, man. God. Scripture say be sober-minded, man. That's that takes precedence in the the the, 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 uh, the stuff that you're uh, consuming uh, spiritually. Uh, uh, Philosophy. Yeah, philosophies. You know. You know, also going to being level-headed. You know, kind, kind. being level-headed and, and uh, knowing that um, it's. It's the spirit that quickeneth, like John mm -hmm. the sixth chapter says. Uh, I got another precept. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. This just going, this like pretty much goes into uh, you know knowing that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai um, controls all things. You know when when you when you know this, this is what's going to give you stability in in these in these last days. This is uh, Isaiah chapter forty five and verse seven, and it reads, "I form the light and create darkness." I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, Yahweh, do all these things. So when you know that the Most High creates good and evil, you don't worry. You know, you have a sound mind, like 2 Timothy, the first chapter says, um, because that is what the Lord gave you. Putting your trust in him is what's, is what's going to keep you stable. It's what's going to it's what's going to give you strength when you feel like you're going to fold or whatever. Because at the end of the day, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is what he he's the one that, that that gives you your life. That's right. And it's it's very important to trust in him. You know, he's he, that's what's gonna keep you from bugging out, man. Mm-hmm. Have good courage, man. God. And don't grow up their lines and endure to the end. Roughly paraphrasing those three different uh, scriptures. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, uh, call it out. This is a a, a quick hit, as always. With me and brother. Uh, Lawyer, uh, we do our workout and we try to do, you know, a lesson each time. Uh, Yah we continue to do that. Um, but one more scripture and then we're gonna call it. Go ahead. Um, this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 9 and verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. So the scriptures is pretty much telling us, um, fearing Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, that is your wisdom. Mm -hmm. It's your strength. It's, it's your stability. Um, um, and it's your understanding. You fear the Lord because you know, again, going back to what you said. God. Through the spirit, we know the Lord controls all things. So 
what are we to be afraid of when we know our power who fights for us and who we obey and we love and we do it with love and, and, and cheerfulness because we understand his power and we understand that we have been, you know, we're part of the hopeful elect, man. That's just to be considered is 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 it's just so like that's I'm grateful for that. We're grateful for that. And so with that being said, man, like the fear is a, a it's like a it's more than just like it's it's beyond the mind the, the, the carnal mindset of what fear is. God. It's a it's a love. Like we we fear the Lord because we understand his power, man. God, that's your refuge. Your refuge, kind, kind. You know, and, it, and the scriptures also talk about uh, the fear of the Lord prolonging your day. Yes. I believe it's in Proverbs 10. Chapter. Because you move swiftly. God. You move, you move wisely. You, you move with, 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 uh, what do you call it? Rigor, uh, uh, substance. No, no, you, 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 you move, you move. Wisely, but you move like cautiously. You move. You 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 oh, you, okay. you you reference the Lord in everything that you do. Discernment. Be, you have yes, complete discernment. Kind. 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 I just got I just got one more scripture through kind. the Spirit, man. This kind. is the Book of Proverbs, chapter fifteen and verse sixteen. Better is little with the fear of the Lord than great treasure and trouble therewith. Mm -hmm. So you can have. Very little, man. If you got the fear of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, the Lord says it's better to be basically to have very little in your life and to fear the Lord than to be a rich man and to have all the troubles. Because you know what? Like like they say, more money, more problems. That, that, mm -hmm. That's really true, man. That's right. Like it's, it's a lot of rich people out here. They don't fear the Lord, man. They're not making Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai their refuge. They're not calling on him. They're not thanking him when they wake up in the morning. You know, they're relying on their riches, you know. Um, he that trusted in his riches shall fall, you know, That's but right. the seed of the righteous shall be, uh, delivered, you know? God. So the fear of the Lord is, 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 is not only your, your confidence and your refuge, but, uh, it prolongs your days, you know, and mm -hmm. it's better than being rich and having no faith. That's right. That's right. All right. Well, Hey, we're going to call it. I'm going to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakaq Dash. A double honor to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace I taste to the hopeful elect, 144,000, and the one third men, women, and children in the order against Shema Yahweh. Brother Loya. Until next time, Shalom, Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom, Akim. Akim and Akwath. Shalom. Shalom.